In today's message, we're going to discuss the power of setting and achieving goals. I know many of you may be feeling frustrated or stuck in your current situation, but I want you to know that you are not alone. We all face challenges and obstacles in our lives, but the key is to not let them hold us back. By listening to this message, you will learn practical and proven strategies that will help you turn things around and start achieving your goals. So, get ready to take notes, and let's dive into the five ways to achieve your goals. Starting with number five, I want to talk to you about the fifth way to achieve your goals, which is continuously learning and improving. You see, success is not a one-time event. It is a continuous journey of growth and improvement. And in order to reach our full potential and achieve our goals, we must commit ourselves to a lifetime of learning and self-improvement. The world we live in is constantly evolving, and if we do not adapt and grow along with it, we will be left behind. We must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and embrace new challenges. As the saying goes, if you're not growing, you're dying. So, how do we continuously learn and improve? It starts with having a growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. It means seeing failures and setbacks as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. We must also be open to new ideas and perspectives. Often, we get stuck in our own ways of thinking and shut ourselves off from new information. But in order to learn and improve, we must be willing to listen and consider different points of view. Another important aspect of continuous learning is seeking out new knowledge and skills. This can be through formal education, such as taking courses or getting a degree, or through self-education, such as reading books and attending seminars. The key is to never stop learning and expanding our knowledge base. But it's not just about acquiring new knowledge, it's also about applying it. We must take action and put what we learn into practice. As the great philosopher Aristotle once said, for the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. And this brings me to the concept of continuous improvement. Learning is not just about acquiring knowledge. It's about using that knowledge to become better versions of ourselves. We must constantly evaluate our actions and behaviors and look for ways to improve them. This can be done through setting goals and working towards them. By setting specific, measurable, and achievable goals, we give ourselves a target to strive for. And as we work towards these goals, we learn and grow along the way. But it's important to remember that learning and improvement is not a linear process. There will be ups and downs, successes and failures, and that's okay. We must embrace the journey and be patient with ourselves. As long as we are continuously learning and improving, we are on the right track. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or resources to continuously learn and improve. And to that, I say, make the time. We all have 24 hours in a day. It's how we choose to use them that makes the difference. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media or binge watching TV shows, use that time to read a book or take an online course. And as for resources, there are plenty of free or low cost options available. The internet has made information more accessible than ever before. Take advantage of it, and if there's something you really want to learn or improve on, invest in yourself. The return on investment will be worth it. Now, I want to address the fear of failure. Many of us hesitate to try new things or take risks because we are afraid of failing. But I want to remind you that failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has experienced failure at some point in their journey. It's what we do with those failures that determines our success. So, don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes. Embrace them as learning opportunities and use them to continuously improve. Now, to number four, which is staying accountable. As we all know, setting goals is easy. We can all come up with a list of things we want to achieve or improve in our lives. But the real challenge lies in actually achieving those goals. And that is where accountability comes in. Accountability is the glue that holds commitment to your goals. It is the driving force that keeps you on track and helps you overcome the obstacles that come your way. Without accountability, our goals are just mere wishes that are easily forgotten or abandoned. So, 
How do we stay accountable? The first step is to make a commitment to yourself. You have to be fully committed to your goals, and that means taking responsibility for your actions and decisions. You cannot rely on others to hold you accountable, it has to come from within. Next, you need to have a clear plan in place. You cannot stay accountable if you don't know what you are working towards. Your goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This will give you a clear roadmap to follow and make it easier to track your progress. Now, let's talk about the importance of having an accountability partner. This could be a friend, family member, or a mentor. Someone who will hold you accountable and keep you on track. It's important to choose someone who is supportive but also not afraid to give you a push when you need it. This person will provide you with the necessary motivation and encouragement to keep going when things get tough. But remember, ultimately, you are accountable to yourself. Your accountability partner is there to support you, but the responsibility lies with you. You have to be honest with yourself about your progress. If you fall off track, it's important to take ownership of your mistakes and make the necessary adjustments to get back on track. Another important aspect of accountability is tracking your progress. This not only helps you stay on track but also gives you a sense of accomplishment as you see yourself getting closer to your goals. You can track your progress in various ways, such as keeping a journal, using a habit tracker, or setting mini goals along the way. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. What happens when we face setbacks or failures? It's important to understand that setbacks and failures are a part of the journey towards success. They are not a sign of weakness or defeat but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. When faced with a setback, it's important to not beat yourself up. Instead, take a step back, reassess the situation, and come up with a plan to move forward. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. Your accountability partner can be a great source of support during these times. Lastly, I want to stress the importance of celebrating your successes. Often, we get so caught up in chasing our goals that we forget to acknowledge our achievements along the way. Celebrating your successes, no matter how small, will give you the motivation and confidence to keep going. And now, I'm excited to share with you the third way to achieve your goals. We all have dreams and aspirations, big or small. We set goals and make plans, but often, we find ourselves stuck, unable to move forward. We may have the desire and the vision, but without action, our dreams will remain just that, dreams. That is why the third way to achieve your goals is to take action. You see, the first step to achieving anything is to have a dream a goal, a vision. This is what ignites the fire within us, the passion that drives us forward. But a dream without action is merely a wish. It is the action that turns our dreams into reality. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but Jim, taking action is easier said than done. And you are right. Taking action requires effort, dedication, and sometimes even sacrifice. But let me tell you, my friends, the rewards are worth it. Let me share with you a story about a young man named John. John had a dream of becoming a successful businessman, but he came from a poor family and had no connections or resources. Despite the odds stacked against him, John was determined to make his dream a reality. He took action by starting his own business, working long hours, and making sacrifices along the way. And eventually, his hard work paid off. John is a successful entrepreneur with a thriving business. In today's message, we're going to discuss the power of setting and achieving goals. I know many of you may be feeling frustrated or stuck in your current situation, but I want you to know that you are not alone. We all face challenges and obstacles in our lives, but the key is to not let them hold us back. By listening to this message, you will learn practical and proven strategies that will help you turn things around and start achieving your goals. So, get ready to take notes, and let's dive into the five ways to achieve your goals. Starting with number five, I want to talk to you about the fifth way to achieve your goals, which is continuously learning and improving. You see, success is not a one-time event. It is a continuous journey of growth and improvement. And in order to reach our full potential and achieve our goals, 
we must commit ourselves to a lifetime of learning and self-improvement. The world we live in is constantly evolving, and if we do not adapt and grow along with it, we will be left behind. We must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and embrace new challenges. As the saying goes, if you're not growing, you're dying. So, how do we continuously learn and improve? It starts with having a growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. It means seeing failures and setbacks as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. We must also be open to new ideas and perspectives. Often, we get stuck in our own ways of thinking and shut ourselves off from new information. But in order to learn and improve, we must be willing to listen and consider different points of view. Another important aspect of continuous learning is seeking out new knowledge and skills. This can be through formal education, such as taking courses or getting a degree, or through self-education, such as reading books and attending seminars. The key is to never stop learning and expanding our knowledge base. But it's not just about acquiring new knowledge, it's also about applying it. We must take action and put what we learn into practice. As the great philosopher Aristotle once said, for the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them. And this brings me to the concept of continuous improvement. Learning is not just about acquiring knowledge. It's about using that knowledge to become better versions of ourselves. We must constantly evaluate our actions and behaviors and look for ways to improve them. This can be done through setting goals and working towards them. By setting specific, measurable, and achievable goals, we give ourselves a target to strive for. And as we work towards these goals, we learn and grow along the way. But it's important to remember that learning and improvement is not a linear process. There will be ups and downs, successes and failures, and that's okay. We must embrace the journey and be patient with ourselves. As long as we are continuously learning and improving, we are on the right track. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or resources to continuously learn and improve. And to that, I say, make the time. We all have 24 hours in a day. It's how we choose to use them that makes the difference. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media or binge watching TV shows, use that time to read a book or take an online course. And as for resources, there are plenty of free or low-cost options available. The internet has made information more accessible than ever before. Take advantage of it, and if there's something you really want to learn or improve on, invest in yourself. The return on investment will be worth it. Now, I want to address the fear of failure. Many of us hesitate to try new things or take risks because we are afraid of failing. But I want to remind you that failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has experienced failure at some point in their journey. It's what we do with those failures that determines our success. So, don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes. Embrace them as learning opportunities and use them to continuously improve. Now, to number four, which is staying accountable. As we all know, setting goals is easy. We can all come up with a list of things we want to achieve or improve in our lives. But the real challenge lies in actually achieving those goals. And that is where accountability comes in. Accountability is the glue that holds commitment to your goals. It is the driving force that keeps you on track and helps you overcome the obstacles that come your way. Without accountability, our goals are just mere wishes that are easily forgotten or abandoned. So, how do we stay accountable? The first step is to make a commitment to yourself. You have to be fully committed to your goals, and that means taking responsibility for your actions and decisions. You cannot rely on others to hold you accountable. It has to come from within. Next, you need to have a clear plan in place. You cannot stay accountable if you don't know what you are working towards. Your goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This will give you a clear roadmap to follow and make it easier to track your progress. Now, let's talk about the importance of having an accountability partner. This could be a friend, family member, or a mentor. Someone who will hold you accountable and keep you on track. 
It's important to choose someone who is supportive but also not afraid to give you a push when you need it. This person will provide you with the necessary motivation and encouragement to keep going when things get tough. But remember, ultimately, you are accountable to yourself. Your accountability partner is there to support you, but the responsibility lies with you. You have to be honest with yourself about your progress. If you fall off track, it's important to take ownership of your mistakes and make the necessary adjustments to get back on track. Another important aspect of accountability is tracking your progress. This not only helps you stay on track but also gives you a sense of accomplishment as you see yourself getting closer to your goals. You can track your progress in various ways, such as keeping a journal, using a habit tracker, or setting mini goals along the way. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. What happens when we face setbacks or failures? It's important to understand that setbacks and failures are a part of the journey towards success. They are not a sign of weakness or defeat but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. When faced with a setback, it's important to not beat yourself up. Instead, take a step back, reassess the situation, and come up with a plan to move forward. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. Your accountability partner can be a great source of support during these times. Lastly, I want to stress the importance of celebrating your successes. Often, we get so caught up in chasing our goals that we forget to acknowledge our achievements along the way. Celebrating your successes, no matter how small, will give you the motivation and confidence to keep going. And now, I'm excited to share with you the third way to achieve your goals. We all have dreams and aspirations, big or small. We set goals and make plans, but often, we find ourselves stuck, unable to move forward. We may have the desire and the vision, but without action, our dreams will remain just that. Dreams. That is why the third way to achieve your goals is to take action. You see, the first step to achieving anything is to have a dream, a goal, a vision. This is what ignites the fire within us, the passion that drives us forward. But a dream without action is merely a wish. It is the action that turns our dreams into reality. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, taking action is easier said than done. And you are right. Taking action requires effort, dedication, and sometimes even sacrifice. But let me tell you, my friends, the rewards are worth it. Let me share with you a story about a young man named John. John had a dream of becoming a successful businessman. But he came from a poor family and had no connections or resources. Despite the odds stacked against him, John was determined to make his dream a reality. He took action by starting his own business, working long hours, and making sacrifices along the way. And eventually, his hard work paid off. Today, John is a successful entrepreneur with a thriving business. He could have easily given up on his dream, but instead, he took action. He worked tirelessly, taking on odd jobs to fund his education and attending networking events to meet people in the business world. He faced rejection and setbacks, but he never gave up. Today, John is the CEO of a successful company, living his dream and inspiring others to do the same. You see, taking action is not just about physically doing something. It is also about having the right mindset. It is about being proactive and taking responsibility for our lives. It is about understanding that we are in control of our own destiny and that every action we take or don't take has an impact on our future. So, how can we take action towards our goals? The first step is to have a clear and specific goal. As the saying goes, if you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. Be specific about what you want to achieve and write it down. This will give you a roadmap to follow and keep you focused on your destination. The next step is to break down your goal into smaller, manageable tasks. This will make it less overwhelming and more achievable. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your goals be accomplished overnight. But by taking consistent action towards your goal, you will eventually get there. Now, I want to address a common misconception about taking action. Many people believe that action means constantly being busy and working non-stop. But that is not the case. Taking action also means being strategic and using your time effectively.
It means prioritizing your tasks and focusing on the ones that will bring you closer to your goal. Another crucial aspect of taking action is to have a positive attitude. We all face challenges and obstacles on our journey towards our goals, but it is our attitude towards these challenges that will determine our success. Instead of seeing them as roadblocks, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. As the saying goes, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Taking action also means being persistent. It is easy to get discouraged when things don't go as planned, but remember, success is not a straight path. It is filled with ups and downs, and it is those who persist through the tough times that ultimately achieve their goals. Lastly, I want to remind you that taking action also means taking care of yourself. It is essential to have a healthy mind and body to have the energy and motivation to pursue your goals. Make time for self-care, exercise, and rest. These are not distractions. They are essential for your overall well-being. Next is number two, which is creating a plan. We all have dreams and aspirations, but without a plan, they will remain just that. Dreams. A plan is like a roadmap that helps us navigate our way towards our goals. It gives us direction, focus, and a sense of purpose. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, how do we create a plan that will lead us to success? The first step is to have a clear and specific goal. This means knowing exactly what you want to achieve and setting a deadline for it. Without a clear goal, your plan will lack direction and may lead you astray. Once you have a goal in mind, the next step is to break it down into smaller, actionable steps. This will make your goal more manageable and less overwhelming. For example, if your goal is to start your own business, your smaller steps could be researching the market, creating a business plan, and networking with potential clients or investors. Now let me share with you a crucial aspect of creating a plan, writing it down. This may seem like a simple task but it is one of the most powerful tools for achieving your goals. Writing down your plan makes it tangible and gives you a sense of accountability. It also serves as a constant reminder of what you need to do to achieve your goal. But creating a plan is not just about writing down your goals and steps. It also involves setting priorities and making sacrifices. We all have 24 hours in a day, and how we use that time will determine our success. To achieve our goals, we must prioritize our tasks and eliminate distractions. This may mean sacrificing some leisure time or giving up certain habits that do not align with our goals. Remember, success requires sacrifice. Another essential aspect of creating a plan is to have a positive mindset. No matter how well crafted your plan may be, it will not guarantee success if you do not have a positive attitude. You must believe in yourself and your abilities. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So believe that you can achieve your goals and your plan will become a reality. Now let me share with you a powerful tool that will help you stay on track with your plan, accountability. Find someone who can hold you accountable for your actions and progress. This can be a friend, a family member, or a mentor. Share your plan with them and ask them to check in with you regularly. This will not only keep you accountable but also provide you with support and motivation when you need it. However, creating a plan does not mean that you will not face obstacles or setbacks. In fact, they are inevitable on the road to success. But what sets successful people apart is their ability to adapt and adjust their plans when faced with challenges. Remember, a plan is not set in stone and you must be willing to make changes when necessary. As the saying goes, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. Lastly, I want to emphasize the importance of taking action. A plan is useless if you do not take action. You can have the most well-crafted plan, but if you do not put it into action, it will not lead you to success. So do not wait for the perfect time or for everything to fall into place. Take action now and make progress towards your goals every day. And now, to number one. I have spent my entire life studying success and personal development, and I can confidently say that I have found the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving your dreams. 
So without further ado, let's dive into the power of setting clear and specific goals. Goals are the fuel that propels us forward in life. They give us direction, motivation, and a sense of purpose. Without goals, we are like a ship without a rudder, aimlessly drifting in the sea of life. But not just any goals will do. It is essential to set clear and specific goals if we want to see real progress and success. Why is it so crucial to have clear and specific goals? Well, for starters, they give us a sense of direction. When we have a clear destination in mind, it becomes easier to map out a plan and take action towards it. It's like having a GPS for our lives. We know where we want to go, and we can plan the best route to get there. Furthermore, clear and specific goals allow us to measure our progress. When we have a specific outcome in mind, we can track our progress and make adjustments as needed. It's like having a scoreboard in a game. We can see how we are doing and make changes to improve our performance. Lastly, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't want to limit myself by setting specific goals. What if I want to change my mind or try something else? And to that, I say, it's okay to change your goals as you grow and evolve. But it's essential to have a clear and specific goal in mind at any given time. It's like building a house. You may change the design or the color scheme along the way, but you need a blueprint to guide you in the construction process. So how do we set clear and specific goals? First and foremost, we must have a clear vision of what we want to achieve. What is your ultimate goal? What do you want to accomplish in your life? Once you have a clear vision, break it down into smaller specific goals. This will make it more manageable and less overwhelming. Next, write down your goals. Studies have shown that people who write down their goals are more likely to achieve them. It's like making a contract with yourself. Make them smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This acronym is a powerful tool for setting clear and specific goals. Lastly, review your goals regularly. Goals are not set in stone. As we grow and evolve, our goals may change, and that's okay. It's essential to review our goals periodically and make adjustments as needed. This will ensure that our goals are still aligned with our desires and dreams. So I challenge you today to set clear and specific goals for yourself. Write them down, make them smart, and review them regularly. I promise you, with this powerful tool, you will be on your way to achieving your dreams and living a fulfilling life. Thank you.